Hey, what's going on, y'all? SK Sports Guards here with another video for you. In light of the recent hoopla over the signings of mega superstars and bad boys, Manny Machado and Bryce Harper, I thought I would dig through my baseball card collection and see exactly what I've got here for these two players, trying to take stock. I found some doozies, so I'm going to go over them with you real quick. This one is one of the best cards in my collection. Wait for it to... There we go. Um, Topps Museum Collection 2013. This is numbered out of 99. This is 3 out of 99. Uh, Manny Machado is one of those thick cards that Museum Collection puts out. Fairly rare. Um, it's autographed and it's a relic. So you got pieces of his jersey in there. Turn around to the back. Says congratulations. Do 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 do. I bought this one as a single at a card store. I don't normally buy hobby boxes or ever buy hobby boxes. So. I just go and I buy them as singles. Uh, I believe I paid, I think it was about 2013 or 14 when I got this. I believe I paid about $50. I had to Jew the guy down a bit. Um, he didn't want to sell it for that low of a price, but it was slow for sales. So I went ahead and bought it. I have not found another one of these cards for sale on eBay. So I am not sure exactly how much it's worth. But I looked at some comparables that are similar to this one, and it looks like it's worth around $70 to $100, depending on what, how much people really want to pay for it. But that's a stellar card right there. Next in the Manny Machado collection, this one, not a rookie, this is a 2017 Topps Jackie Robinson Special Edition. This was for the 70th anniversary of Robinson's break in the baseball in 1947. Topps went ahead and put this very nice little Jackie Robinson... April 15th, Jack Robinson Day 42 coin embedded in all these cards. Um, they are they were available in 2017 Topps Blaster Packs, which I bought one at Walmart, and I happened to get Manny. So you got Manny Machado right there looking like he's going to throw the ball to first. And there's Jack Robinson, legendary Jack Robinson in the corner. Congratulations on the back. There were several of these made for modern day players, and I was lucky enough to get this one. Next, and I'm sure a lot of you have these because there's tons of them out there. This is just a regular 2013 base. Tops Machado Rookie. I got two of them. If you're a Baltimore Orioles fan, I'm sure you're pretty upset because you guys had so much talent, and then you lost them all. And this is one of them, but still a classic card. Moving on to baseball's second bad boy, Bryce Harper. Well, let's dig into this one. I have some graded cards. Now, I didn't get these graded myself. I bought these on eBay already graded. This one's a 10 gem. 2012 number 10 Bowman Rookie. Graded by GMA. I know not the, best, not the best, most reputable grader, but I think somebody just kind of cheaped out and got it done by GMA. Um, just a base card from... The Bowman set for 2012, but still, you know, highly sought after card. It's got the Ricky logo in the corner. Um, I haven't verified the value of this card. It's probably, I would imagine you'd probably find one of these for sale, like 20 bucks or so. Here's another 10. This is Bowman Chrome Platinum. Graded as a 10 gem. Number, can you see the number in there? Number 56, Rookie. You got the RC logo in the corner. Not a big fan of the Bowman Platinum cards. I like regular Bowman and Chrome, but still, 2012 had a really nice design for Platinum. I do not like the 2018 Platinums. I bought a blaster pack and was not happy with them. But there you go. There he is. His classic Bryce Harper running with his jersey blowing in the wind that you typically see. Okay, this one was graded as a nine. I looked at it. I can't really see why it's a nine, but this is a bo this is a 2011. So this was technically before his rookie year. He was a prospect at the time. Uh, rookie refractor, Bowman Platinum rookie refractor. Kind of, kind of a little bit of glare in there. Kind of hard to see, but really cool card. Um, for some reason, you've got the guy behind him in the batting cage looking pretty prominent. I don't know why Bowman would. You know, run with this because it pretty much looks like he got this fat dude in the back, but whatever. Still a pretty cool card. And there's a the number on the back. 
Uh, drop me a message if you have any of these. I'd be interested to see what you think of them, if you do have them, if you think they're good cards or not. Um, then a couple that are not graded. This is just your regular 2012 Tops rookie. Um, this isn't a short print. I believe there was a short print available that year. This is just the basic card. 661. There you go. And this is another... I don't even know what year this one is. Let me check the back. 2011. Okay, so this is a prospect card. This was before he was a rookie. This is a um, little bit of glare here. This is Bowman Chrome. And you can see he looks like he's wearing a spring training jersey, a Grapefruit League jersey. So this was probably taken in spring training. Um, great looking card. I love Bowman. I really do. I think Bowman just makes the best looking cards. There you go. And the most sought after, too. Scared and report on the back. This one I bought online. Can't remember how much I paid for it, but it wasn't a fortune. So there you go. So that's Bryce and Manny Machado. Whether you like those guys or not, whether you think they're worth all the money they got paid or not, it's up for debate. Um, however, drop me, a, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of these guys. If you like these cards, if there's any... Machado or Harper cards that um, that you think are undervalued and should get more attention. I would love to hear from you. All right, peace out, y'all.